So today we're going to be making some spool clamps. Uh, spool clamps are very specialised uh, clamps used by uh, luthiers and they're ridiculously expensive to buy them from any of the luthier supply shops so we've, what we've done is we're just going to make them ourselves and we've only spent less than 30 euro on the materials here we've got a large dowel it's a uh, pretty much similar you could use a broom handle or something like that and we've got some M6 treaded rod here we've got some M6 wing nuts, M6 washers and some uh, felt furniture pads and so the plan is what we're going to do is cut up the dowel into a little over one inch pieces cut our treaded rod into some 200 millimeter pieces and then we can put the uh, the dowel pieces onto the end of each of the treaded rod pieces and add a washer and some uh, a wing nut as well and we can adjust them so the first thing we're going to do to get ourselves started is we're going to cut up our treaded rod into 200 millimeter pieces so we've got our piece marked out uh, 200 millimeters along and we'll just start to cut them out now by hand that's our first piece, uh, 200 millimeters, and so we'll just keep going ahead and cut out all the others so now that we've cut them all they all have little bores and sharp edges on them here so we're just going to take a flat steel file and just take off those bores So next we're going to move on to our wooden dowel here and we're just going to put a mark just before the end because uh, I'm not going to use this piece because it's rounded over towards the end and then next what we're going to do is just mark an inch all the way down until we get the 20 pieces that we need. So we've got all our marks made now so we're going to take this over to the bandsaw and we'll cut all these pieces out. So now we're going to take these uh, pieces we've just cut and we're just going to clean up both faces on the belt sander here. So the next thing we're going to do is we need to drill through the centre of these and in order to find that point what we do is we take our square and we take our speed square and we put them together and it gives us this uh, 45 angle here so we can then put our dowel in line it up make sure it's touching and then scribe a line take it out and twist it and put it back in again making sure everything lines up and scribe another line and we now have our center and we can use that as our point for when we're drilling down so now what we're going to do is we're going to drill through the center of all these dowel pieces we've cut. So we're just holding it in the pliers here, just because it's so small. So we'll just start drilling. So what we're going to do next is we're going to stick down uh, these round little felt pads onto the inside face of the clamp and this will just protect it as it clamps down on the wood of the guitar body so with those in place we'll just take our punch and just press through and then we'll re-drill those again to open up the hole so we've attached our felt pads and drill through on all of our pieces so now we're just going to begin our final assembly so we just take a piece of our treaded rod and we push the two pieces onto the end with the felt facing inwards as we said we just get a washer on either end and then we start to put on our wing nuts so there's our 10 spool clamps uh, completed as I said, at a cost of less than 30 euros, uh, much, much cheaper than buying them online or from any of the luthier supply shops, and a very specific tool that's needed. 
So here's our finished spool clamps and they are useless. Uh, the clamping area we have is only a couple of millimetres, they're just way too small. I don't know what I was thinking with using such a small dowel. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back and use this much larger dowel. So that'll give us much more uh, surface area for clamping. So what we're going to do is, we have got it marked up, we're going to cut all our one inch pieces off this. Uh, again, find centre and drill them. And then we'll come back and reassemble them together, back together with this uh, new larger dowel. So this is just to quickly show you how much in size we've increased the uh, dowel from the very small one we began with to the large one that we'll be using now. So we're just going to reassemble all the clamps now. So there's our spool clamps uh, completed now, uh, 10 of them. And as I said this only cost in and around 30 euros. And uh, with the mistake with the original dowel that added some extra cost. But if you didn't make the mistake I made, it would still only cost around 30 euro or so. So they're all finished now and I'll just show you exactly what spool clamps get used for. So just to show you, this is where we would normally use spool clamps. It would be on the edge of a guitar like this just to provide even pressure coming in on both sides. And we have our felt covering then to ensure there's no damage. So there we go, that's our spool clamps all done. And just to show you, we've just made a quick and simple little rack there, just to keep them safely stored.